Today, we're embarking on an exhilarating journey into the past with the highly anticipated sequel of the five most amazing ancient ruins of the world. If you've already joined us for part one, welcome back and thank you for your continued support. If you're new to our channel, don't worry, you're in for a treat. But before we dive into the wonders of part two, we invite you to explore the first part if you haven't already. There, we uncovered the stories and splendors of some of the world's most captivating ancient ruins. Now, as we journey deeper into history, let's rediscover the magic of the past and continue our exploration of the five most amazing ancient ruins of the world, part two. So whether you're a returning traveler or a new explorer, let's set off on this incredible adventure together. Our first stop takes us to the mesmerizing realm of Petra in Jordan, the rose red city carved into the heart of the Jordanian desert where rocks become storytellers and history dances with the wind. A place where nature and human ingenuity collide, creating an ancient wonder that leaves you utterly spellbound. Petra was the capital of the Nabataean Kingdom, and its history dates back to as early as the fourth century BC. Its entrance, the famous Sikh, is like a passage through the fabric of time, a winding gorge that gradually unveils the secrets held within. As you walk deeper into this otherworldly landscape, the first glimpse of Petra's most iconic site, al Khazna, or the Treasury, leaves you breathless. Beyond the Treasury, a labyrinth of temples, tombs, and intricately carved facades unfolds. Each rock-cut structure is a testament to the Nabataeans' architectural genius and their ability to adapt to the harsh desert environment. And what's a lost city without a bit of mystery? One of Petra's star attractions is the monastery, perched high up in the mountains. It's like Petra's best kept secret, accessible only to those brave enough to climb the 800 or so steps to reach it. But trust us, the view from the top is worth every step. But here's where it gets really cool. Petra wasn't just a city, it was a bustling hub of trade and culture. Imagine traders from all corners of the ancient world converging here with their camels and spices. It was like an ancient version of a global marketplace. Petra is not just about stone, it's about the people who called it home, their customs, their stories, and the vibrant trade that once thrived here. The ancient city was a crossroads for camel caravans, connecting the Arabian Peninsula, Egypt, and the Levant. Many parts of Petra remain unexcavated, and the site continues to be a focal point for archeological research. Petra's allure extends beyond its daytime splendor. By night, the sick and the treasury are illuminated by thousands of candles, casting an enchanting spell that draws you into the mysteries of the past. As you explore this living testament to human ingenuity, you can't help but feel the whispers of history in the wind and the echoes of ancient voices. Petra is not just an archeological site. It's a portal to a world long gone, a place where imagination dances with reality and where the stones themselves seem to breathe the stories of those who came before us. All right, adventurers, buckle up your togas and strap on your sandals. We're time traveling to a hot spot. Literally, it's sun soaked of ancient history. Welcome to the Acropolis. Not just any hilltop in Athens, but the hilltop. Why? Because this limestone plateau has seen more action than a blockbuster movie. The Acropolis is a rocky hill located in the heart of Athens, Greece. 
nestled in the heart of a city where myths breathe and legends come alive. It served as the central religious and administrative hub of ancient Athens. Gracing the Acropolis like a crown is the Parthenon, a temple dedicated to Athena Parthenos, the patron goddess of Athens. It's renowned for its Doric columns and architectural symmetry. The Parthenon has been the muse of countless artists and the dream of many a traveler. Its intricate friezes tell tales of gods and heroes, battles and victories. Think of it as the Hollywood star on the walk of fame of ancient structures. But it's not just the Parthenon that captivates the soul. The Erechtheion, with its enigmatic caryatids, maidens of stone bearing the weight of the temple on their graceful shoulders, whisper stories of divine feuds and ancient rites. These aren't just any statues, they're maidens holding up the roof. Talk about girl power. On the Acropolis's slope, the Theater of Dionysus echoes with ancient applause. It was here that tragedies and comedies first played out, giving birth to the very spirit of drama. Over the centuries, the Acropolis has suffered damage from wars, earthquakes, and previous restoration attempts. Modern efforts aim to restore and preserve these ancient structures. Every stone of the Acropolis has a story, a silent witness to democracy's birth, philosophical musings, and the timeless dance of power and art. Swapping the echoes of philosophers for the whispers of ancient shamans. Grab your jungle hats and let's teleport back to the wild fiestas of the Mayans. Chichen Itza. It's one of the most significant archaeological sites of the Maya civilization and played a key role during the Terminal Classic period, circa 800 to 1000 AD. Imagine a city where the pyramids double up as calendars, where every equinox turns into a light and shadow puppet show. Say hello to El Castillo, or the Kukulkan Pyramid. The central and most iconic structure of Chichen Itza, this pyramid was dedicated to the feathered serpent god, Kukulkan. During the spring and autumn equinoxes, the setting sun casts a shadow that gives the illusion of a serpent descending the staircase. This structure has 365 steps, one for each day of the year. Nearby, the Great Ball Court, the largest ancient ball court in Mesoamerica, resonates with echoes of a game that was more than just sport. The acoustics within the court are notable. A whisper from one end can be heard clearly at the other. Ever heard of a basketball court where the stakes are, well, life and death? That's the Great Ball Court for you. Spoiler alert, it's not for the faint-hearted. But hey, they sure knew how to amp up their game nights. Amidst the towering pyramids and intricate stone carvings, there was a place cloaked in mystery and magic, the sacred cenote. Also known as the Well of Sacrifice, it's a natural sinkhole where offerings and occasionally human sacrifices were made to the gods, particularly the rain god, Chak. In the verdant heart of Chichen Itza stands El Caracol, a curious sentinel of the stars, named the snail for its spiral stairway that winds like a mollusk's shell. In a world without telescopes, El Caracol was the Mayans' cosmic bridge, their observatory. Imagine a structure not quite pyramid, not quite tower, reaching skywards, its very stones pulsating with cosmic curiosity. Every window, every doorway, meticulously carved not for the gaze of kings or priests, but for celestial dances and the waltz of planets. Venus, that luminous jewel of the night sky, played peekaboo through its windows, guiding Mayan ceremonies with its rise and set. The observatory is a testament to the advanced astronomical knowledge of the Mayan civilization. Chichen Itza's architecture reflects a fusion of Maya and Toltec styles, evidence of the cultural influences at the site. In 2007, Chichen Itza's Kukulkan Pyramid was named one of the new seven wonders of the world by a global poll. 
In essence, Chichen Itza stands as a testament to the architectural, cultural, and astronomical prowess of the Maya civilization. Swapping salsa for scones and pyramids for monoliths, let's jump from Chichen Itza's sunny vibes to another realm of ancient wonder in the heart of England. Ready for the stone-cold switch? In a time long past, when myths danced with reality and the stars sang tales of old, a mysterious monument emerged from the embrace of the earth, Stonehenge. Stonehenge is located on Salisbury Plain in Wiltshire, England. It was constructed in several phases, with the earliest phase dating back to around 3000 BC. This legendary circle has been rocking out for over 5,000 years. Yep, you heard it right, 5,000 years. Imagine, if you will, a land lush and wild, kissed by misty mornings and painted by fiery sunsets. It is in this surreal tapestry that a group of ancient dreamers, artists, and architects convened, fueled by a vision that transcended generations. With stones kissed by the ancients and plucked from the heart of distant mountains, they began their work. Stonehenge's structure consists of a ring of standing stones, with each stone around 13 feet high, seven feet wide, and weighing approximately 25 tons. These massive monoliths, weighing as much as a herd of elephants, were transported across vast stretches, an endeavor that puzzles minds even today. As years turned into centuries, the very air around Stonehenge began to hum with stories. Whispers of its purpose began to unfurl. Was it a temple to honor the gods? An ancient observatory to watch the ballet of the stars? A sacred burial ground? For wizards, witches, and even druids? Hogwarts, anyone? Stonehenge is aligned with the sunrise on the summer solstice, suggesting some astronomical significance, but the exact purpose of this monument is still a mystery. Apart from being a popular tourist attraction, Stonehenge continues to be a place of spiritual and religious significance. Stonehenge's full story is complex, rich, and still a subject of extensive research and debate. Moving from the stone circles of Stonehenge, our journey now takes us to the heart of the Guatemalan jungle, where the majestic pyramids of Tikal stand tall. These aren't just any old pyramids. No, sir. These giants play the world's longest game of hide and seek. Long, long ago, in the heart of the jungle where the dense canopies whisper secrets to the winds, there was a city named Tikal. Not just any city, mind you, but at a sprawling metropolis carved out of the very essence of the Guatemalan rainforest. Tikal is one of the largest and most significant archaeological sites of the ancient Maya civilization. Situated in the El Paten department of northern Guatemala, Tikal is nestled within the Tikal National Park, which is part of the Maya forest. It flourished between 200 AD and 900 AD. The site boasts impressive structures, including the Temple of the Great Jaguar, Temple 1, and the Temple of the Masks, Temple 2. The towering temples, like giant sentinels of stone, seem to brush the sky, trying to touch the very gods themselves. Besides its archaeological treasures, the surrounding Tikal National Park is a biodiversity hotspot, home to various species such as jaguars, howler monkeys, and numerous exotic birds like the resplendent Quetzal. In the bustling market squares, the air would be thick with the scents of maize, fragrant spices, and cacao. The ancient Maya loved their cocoa. As you stroll, imagine sipping on the world's first hot cocoa, complete with a spicy kick. Hmm, ancient energy drink. By night, Tikal transformed. Once the sun sets, Tikal's sky becomes a glitzy, star-studded show. 
ceremonies held in the honor of Chak, the rain god, or the majestic Kukulkan, the feathered serpent deity, would set the city aglow with torchlight, while astronomers atop the temples tracked the stars, plotting the course of the cosmos. Lay back and watch as the ancient Maya tales come to life in constellations. And if you're lucky, a shooting star might just pass by, granting your wildest jungle wishes. But like all great tales, Tikal's zenith came to an end. The reasons for Tikal's decline in the late classic period, around the 10th century AD, remain a topic of research and debate. Overpopulation, warfare, and environmental factors may have played roles. Today, Tikal is one of Guatemala's most popular tourist attractions, drawing visitors worldwide to marvel at its ancient ruins and lush rainforest setting. These timeless titans are not just ruins, they're gateways to epochs long gone, silent storytellers of ages past. But remember, this is just the tip of the archaeological iceberg. The world's canvas is vast and waiting to be explored. So if you're craving another round of epic ancient adventures, and who isn't, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Pack your imaginary bags and join us for the next ride. More thrills, chills, and historical spills await. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.